Between today and the end of the century, almost as many children will be born in Africa as in the other six continents combined. It'll be the youngest and biggest continent in the history of the world, and they will need leaders, and I think we're just about to give our award to one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my real honor to give the campaign award this year to Aya Shabi. What's up, goalkeepers? <laughs> and to you. <laughs> um, thank you to the Bill Melinda Gates Foundation for this award. I'd like to dedicate this award to African youth who are the everyday campaigners on the front line. And yet their work um, and the risk they take go often and recognized. I started um, my activism in my country, Tunisia, and my continent, Africa, because I refused that my gender and age define me as subject, not driver of development. I joined international diplomacy because I refused that others speak for us as if we don't have a voice think for us as if we don't have brains, we don't have experiences, we don't have history, and even dare to decide for us as if we do not have will. I think for me, the most important um, aspect of my work is identity and is speaking up for what's right, because we're not subjects or objects. Uh, we know exactly what we want as African youth. I campaigned and built movements that unite, mobilize young people around nonviolent activism, around pan-Africanism, leadership, especially the most vulnerable, because we, never knew, we live in a world where the most vulnerable is disfranchised and humiliated based on religion, ethnicity, and nationality. We live in a world where politicians fuels xenophobia and violence and violate national and international laws, stripping people of their dignity, of their autonomy, of their freedom of speech, of movement, of assembly, and even censor the only space we have to breathe, the internet. We live in a world also that it has become acceptable to trade human rights for sanitary projects. The reality we live in is dangerous because our global leaders overlook it, perpetrate it, and even remain silent in front of injustice. But you know what? A wise man told me the power of the people will always remain more powerful than people in power. And that's where change will come from, whether they like it or not. <laughs> Uprisings, peaceful revolutions, youth movements in Tunisia, in Senegal, in Burkina Faso, in Kenya, in Nigeria, in Algeria, in Sudan, all across the world have decided. And when young people promise, young people deliver. The world we want is borderless. And the future we want is about dignity and freedom. And our generation will continue to be radical, disruptive, and challenge the status quo. Because the current system does not work for us. And we, we will change it. We are already changing it. Thank you so much.